Hello everybody, welcome to another Sunday Showcase. I'm Wizbo100, you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser. And I'm also really drowsy right now, and I did get a new haircut. And, uh, I have been working on videos, especially on the game that was donated to me, or, you know, donated the means to review the game. So don't worry, that is getting worked on. Although it's a little slower because I have, uh, been, liter uh, been uh, busy for reals now. Yes, I got a gerb. A job. So, but, uh, well, it, and, yeah, that's gonna affect, like, some of the video making, but, you know, it's pretty lax. I, I might, I'll try and explain during this, uh, showcase of the game, V, 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 or V6, as I'd like to call it, because it's much shorter to say it like that. So, let's get this started. Best thing about this game, or a great thing, is that you can use your controller on it. So, I've beaten this game quite a few times, and I really enjoyed the game. This was, this game was a lot of fun. Let's just start a new game. Are you sure this will delete the yada yada yada? Let's see if I can not die. There's always that no death. And all these little guys. Oh, uh oh. Is everything okay? No, we've hit the nine star elevator defense. Something's wrong. We're going to crash. And the what? Evacuate. Oh no, everyone off the ship. This shouldn't be happening. This can't happen. There's no way. Whew, that was scary. Well, at least we all escaped. Right, guys? Look to the left. <gasps> dun, 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 guys. Oh no, I'm sad now. Welcome aboard. Press arrow keys and blah blah to move unless you got a controller. Press action to flip. This, this game only has a D-pad and then a button. I wonder why the ship teleported to let me here alone. I hope everyone else got it okay. Well, he got teleported here because of the uh, plot for this game. So let us go and find him. Those stop signs are not going to stop us. Oh yeah, and there are those little, like, trinkets that you can get, but I'm not gonna bother getting them, because I've gotten them, like, I've gotten all 20 of them plenty of times. I skipped the TV, because TV is bad for you, but they do tell you stuff. Although, usually, you shouldn't listen to the TV. Just like how you shouldn't, uh, feed carrots to bunnies, because it's not good for them. Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. You don't say! I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. They could be anywhere, except where I am! Oh no, I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but it's still intact. So, that person got teleported away, except they ended up back at the ship. Wow, worst teleport ever. And here's your little map. Broadcasting gives us a suggestion of where to go. Good luck, Captain. Good luck, widget. Pretty simple platform forming. Uh, a lot of people tend to find this game kind of hard. I would say easy to die as opposed to hard. Oh, this part is sort of tricky, but there are much trickier ones. Also, the music in this game can be really, really good. There's a particular one that's my favorite. Oh, I wonder what that is. I probably don't really need it, but it might be nice to take back to the ship anyways until they study. Screw you! I think you, we, I might actually need those for... Or you might actually need those later on in the game for something. It's a big, giant space invader. It was trying to invade all my spaces. Ha! You can't get me with that, especially since I already played this before a lot of time. And this is the sand. Oh, jeez. I wanted to get rid of all of them. That looks like something from Fantasy World Dizzy. And here are the barbecue machines. Oh, look, a teleporter. Teleporters help you go around the place uh, really conveniently. Oh. Oh, my bad. There's more than one button. You need a, You have an enter button. Level complete. Even though it's kind of pretty much open. You have rescued a crew member who was stuck in the ship and didn't need rescuing at all. Because then we go back to the ship. We really don't know anything about this place. Assuming that you have not played this game before. Our friends could be in danger, they could be lost or in danger, or they could be stupid and be in danger. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to find some way to communicate with us, which they which they will not do. We can't pick up their signal and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. We need to find them. Head out to the, the, the blah blah blah. Go find people. Okay, where do we start? I've been trying to find them. Suggestions, yes. Alright, let, let's just go. Oh, where, where where is that one music piece? What was that? Positive force. Oh. Potential for anything is a great theme. I downloaded it. This seems like a good place to store anything I find here, like those trinkets. Victoria loves to study. It's the best theme ever. Or, not like forever. And then it just has the end. You can only listen to it when you're in the ship. And, Ah, it's such a cool theme. Like, I like the rest of the themes in uh, in this game, too, but it's just... That one was 
is my favorite. You can explore around the ship, and you can press the enter button, which is also on the map button. Oh yeah! I guess I do like this track too, because it, it has that Super Robot Wars uh, feel to it, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, this game loops around, which is pretty nice. It's also another thing I kind of like, um... Wish the Fallout 3 did, where like you wouldn't just hit a dead end, you would uh, hit, you would just loop all around. Even though it made no sense, it was just I would have done that. Because then it's like, oh, well, there's not much we can explore if all I did was just loop around. Where is this spot? Hey, TV research note. Ah, screw that. Oh, did it give us something? Uh, no, keep playing. Oh, well, that TV was actually educational. It told us stuff that we needed to know or would help. Don't, don't, please, please, just please don't tell me this is, uh, just please don't tell me this is, um, just for the trinket. I, I forget, because usually the two times I did play this, I was grabbing trinkets. Well, don't get hit by the cold, hard truth. Oh! Oh, there goes the no death. Oh. I'm not saying this is exactly always easy. Just easy to die in. Oh, yeah, the hit, yeah, the hit detection uh, in this game, kind of questionable sometimes. Ah! I've been boned by a skeleton boner! Actually, not really. Half of that is true. Oh, I've been sandwiched. And that was from sheer stupidity. Oh, it's possible to beat this without, uh... With no death, it's just gonna be real, real tricky. Be very skillful and memorize stuff. I'm not exactly... Sure what I'm supposed to do in this Sunday showcase. I thought I was supposed to showcase something. I could've showcased myself getting all the... All the trinkets, but... No, that would take way too long. That would take way too long, so we're just gonna rescue one of the... One of your crewmates? Oh, good thing I'm not down there with, uh, glitches and britches. The lies hurt, run away from it. Because lies are bad for the most part. Also, don't smoke. Smoking kills. Okay, I think I should be close to... Nobody. Everything collapses out of that. Oh, that, that gave us nothing. I don't even know what the hell that thing was. It's just like... It's just the thing. It's like an artifact, and it just kills you. Isn't this where, uh, one of the... Yeah, didn't one of the dumbasses go down here? Yeah, one of the dumbasses went down here. That dumbass! What lies beneath? Oh, that's... Lies! Spikes! Spikes of lies! If I go down there, I'm just gonna end up where all the lies are. Okay, I'm pretty sure this place is where we'll find one of our crewmates. Ah! I've been killed by the lies! Yeah, but this game is a lot of fun. If you can, uh, get a chance to play V V V V V six, let's just... God damn it. If you get a chance to play V6 Play it, it's a lot of fun, it's challenging, and it has uh, really cool music. And pretty fun uh, puzzle elements, which I also liked about it. And then you can also try getting those trinkets. What the hell was I thinking there? Death, I guess. I got my skull crushed and that didn't kill me? Not gonna complain. Oh yeah, that that's the tiny little skip you can do. Wait. Oh, this is that- Oh, this is that really- this is the most annoying thing to get. This is troll. That trinket right there is really annoying. Let's try it once. Or maybe we'll try it a whole bunch of times because I know I can do it. I've done it before. This is where you'll hate the hit detection because... God damn. Oh, just god damn. I think there, there's an there's an even harder one later on, which uh, I'm pretty sure there there is because... Or is it actually just this one? I think it's just this one. You know, I've played it so much I forgot, like, uh, if it was this one. Oh, God damn it. Okay, this was the only trinket we're gonna grab. Oh, I got stabbed in the eye! Did you see that? I wouldn't like to be in his position. Screen trans transition is kind of annoying, because it's just instantaneous and not very smooth. And you just keep bumping into shit like that, so you so you have to give yourself a second when you enter, enter a new screen. Sometimes he's too fast, sometimes he's too slow. He can't make up his mind. I don't think he has one after being stabbed that many times. In the brain! How do I get killed off screen like that anyways? Oh, what? I did not even touch the spike! Did you see that? Like I said, the hit detection can go kiss my ass in this game sometimes. Still fun! And especially once you win, it feels so gratifying to know that you were one of the people that are able to do this. But son of a bitch! He got stabbed in the eye and then in the dick. He has got stabbed in the brain there. He got stabbed by the black hole of nothingness. Oh, come on! I did not press that hard. Oh, stabbed in the brain again. Oh, come on! I swear, you could do this in real life and it wouldn't be as hard. Terrifying, yes. Because imagine just like, you flying so fast and there are these spikes that'll impale you, impale you in the foot and the hit detection is just like, nope. Oh, come on! I tapped! 
I'm losing it every single time. Cause you gotta remember one pattern and then uh, you gotta remember one pattern and then go back the uh, right way. What? Oh, come on! Ah, uh, screen transitions. Screen transitions, man. Oh, I did not touch that. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Man, he got stabbed hard up the ass. I hope you enjoyed that for not obeying me. He got stabbed in three places. His mouth, his groin, and his stomach. What? Jeez, even though I want to be the guy wasn't like this much of a bitch with its uh, hit detection. And that's really saying a lot, because this game is sort of I want to be the guy S, but not really. Urgh. This, this is not as uh, this is not as hard as it should be. I'm just every time I die, I just get worse and worse because I'm trying to pay attention to the next thing to do until I get it right. Like, come on! Look at his smiling face. Like, hee hee hee! I'm the smart air, my brain. Oh, to fucking night in air in the brain, yee! Yeah. I'm a spaceman. Look at me. I can control gravity. Yay! Say la vie! There, I got it. See, I proved it. Oh, it would have been tragic if I had landed on the other side and it was like, didn't get it. Well, let's go save the, uh, one of our guys that I believe should be close by here. Oh. Oh no! The barbecue, the barbecue grills. Don't kiss the cook! Because if you kiss him, he, uh, the barbecues will come, will become jealous because, uh, he didn't actually cook the food. It's the grills are the one that cook the food. Also, that part is not supposed to be very hard. Why am I not touching that checkpoint? Moving on the bridge upside down. B -b -b Busted. Not really. Oh. Oh, this one's also kind of annoying to get to because you got to do a whole bunch of things to grab it. I guess you could have walked back, but okay. Found one of your crewmates. Oh, Viridian. Viridian three. Oh, I just saw that explaining and just yada yada yada. Can I go uh, this way? Right. Good thing I go went first, huh? Yeah, every time you save your crewmates, you gotta go through a teleporter that has some glitch going on with it. You rescued a crew member. Three remain. Will you be able to save them all? Oh, I guess not this time. Well, I guess it's specific to only some of them, and I just happened to find the one that, uh, didn't need to. This is such a good theme. Alright, so that was Sunday Showcase with Fuckface Furnace in the background, and that was V6. V V V V V V on PC, and I believe you can get it on the tablet too. It's a pretty fun puzzle game. If a bit frustrating at certain points as, you, as uh, you see with that one trinket that you would have to get to get full completion of the game, but otherwise it's really fun and the music is really, really cool. So if anything, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sunday Showcase. See you next time. This is Wizard 100, you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser, so stay tuned for more. See ya!